everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. When I sat down, I said to Jim, I have no idea what we'll talk about. And then I said, well, I could ask a question. How was your day? There's a question, I guess. <laughs> How was your day? Our day was very, very quiet. Jim did his wash. Yes, he does his own wash. His, his laundry. And he does the dishes, too. <laughs> Yep, I do. He does the dishes. He started doing the dishes, oh gosh, many years ago. I was working at McDonald's at the time. Oh, yeah, I think so, because my hands were getting so cracked with, between wa keeping the table sanitized and doing all the cleaning that I was doing. My hands were really getting a mess. And so he started doing the dishes, and then I went to the school, and he's still doing the dishes. And... I do them only on Wednesday sometimes, I do them, mm -hmm. but that's the only day. And the only reason I do it Wednesday is I have the kids here, and there's a lot of dishes to be done. So I do those. He did his laundry, and Emily came to do her laundry. So she got her laundry done, and she had dinner with us. We had some steaks that Jim had gotten, and I used the sous -vide. I put them in there because they're, they're the rib eye. They're not mm, the top or the, round or something like that. I don't know, but it wasn't the it was not a real tender kind of meat. But when you put them in the sous vide, makes a big difference. It it tenderizes I have round. them. Eye I of have round. round. They were. Yeah, I knew they were. Uh, they're not a real tender mm -mm. piece of cut. But if you do it in the sous vide and then cook it, they turn out really tender. And I had that with green beans and salad is what I had. And he had the same thing, and so did Emily. She enjoyed it. And I brought Mr. Brown in for a while because it was raining. It was not very nice out, and so I thought, well, I'll bring her in. So I brought her in for a while, and then it was getting pretty warm in the room that she's in because of the laundry being done. So I thought, well, I'll bring her back outside. So I brought her back outside, and I put her... I didn't bring her up to the fenced area. I just put her outside like I was doing before. And when I went back to go get her, I couldn't find her. And I went up on the hill, and Jim came around by the current bush in Emily's car. Mm -hmm. and she parks right by the current bush and this other little, the, whatever bush it is with the prickers on it. The privet. The privet bush. And who is there but Mr. Brown? So he, he kind of corrals her back to where... I was at, and then I pick her up, and I bring her over to the fenced-in area. Well, the fenced-in area is pretty squishy because it's been raining a lot, so he moved the entry so that I could be on a on drier land when I go up there to, to see her or to gather her egg or do whatever I'm going to do when I'm in there so that I don't have to walk so much through this real mucky muck. And it takes it forever to dry up there because it's clay. If it was gravel like down here it would dry up quickly because the ground would soak it up and up there it just kind of sits. And it's like those places that have a lot of rain and they've had really bad storms and it, the ground is not absorbing it because they've had too much rain where our ground is just not absorbing it. We've had a lot of rain. So those places that want rain should get it. And we that should have dry, if we don't have it dry, and so then um, Mr. Brown is outside, so I'm going to have to go outside and I'm going to have to lock her in for the night and lock the other ones. But I have to wait a little while because she's out and about and they're all out and about. But by the time they go in, I forget and it gets really dark. Yesterday it was pretty dark when I went up there, but I could still see. And when she saw me, she started to come out and I said, no, 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 you've got to stay up here tonight. It wasn't a bad night. And then... I took the brown one out of the chicken jail, and I put Dorothy in the chicken jail. So now I've got Dorothy in chicken jail. She'll be there till Wednesday, and then I can take her out on Wednesday, and I hope she's all done being broody, and I hope none of the others want to be broody. So far, so good. And I got a dozen eggs today, so now I've got nine dozen eggs. Time to go visit the neighbors or, and give some away. So that's the video of today. I hope I had no idea what I was going to say, <laughs> but I did chatter a little bit. And I hope you had a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>